everybody's imitating somebody. Chris Farley imitating, to some degree, John Belushi. Kobe, to some degree, imitating MJ. Steve Allen, Letterman, the connection was obvious. Chris Rock had some Richard Pryor. Lady Gaga, you don't see Madonna? Even Shakespeare was not a true original. I looked it up this morning. When Shakespeare wrote Romeo and Juliet around 1596, he did not start from scratch. And I'm not here to diss Bill Shakespeare, but he was not starting from scratch. While he was working on Romeo and Juliet, he was looking at a copy of the wordy narrative poem by Arthur Brooke titled The Tragical History of Romeo and Juliet. Oh, yeah. So even Bill Shakespeare, old William, was copying somebody. Give Kobe credit. At least he didn't imitate Steve Francis. At least he didn't imitate World Be Free. He picked Michael Jordan. He picked a good guy to imitate. And I would argue with today's social media, there is more and more imitation. Everybody's imitating or taking from somebody they were influenced by. It could be your dad. It could be your brother. It could be a star player. That I'll defend Kobe with. A lot of stars have somebody they looked up to. This was the performance fans came to see. When's the last time a bad team won a meaningless game and people walked out of an arena high-fiving? That was awesome. That's just not how NBA fans react. Fans came to see that performance. 